Hi friends, Wizdi here. Welcome to a new Raid Shadow Legends video. In this video, we're going to talk about the multiple events that Plarium is hitting us with that basically to drain your resources after the fusion. The fusion wasn't that hard, but now they are hitting you with two major events with just like a sub event of one of them starting today when you see this video, Tuesday the 17th of September. Talking about Thor, five star soul, or Freya guaranteed events or deck of fate that we don't have any information about yet. So bear that in mind while we're talking today. Should you go for one of them? Should you go for both of them? Should you open charts today or tomorrow for some of the 10x uh, champions? If you're close to mercy, because that's a big thing here. The very thing that we need to answer first, do you have the resources required for each of those events? So I'll tell you which resources you'll need for each of, of the events. And then assuming that you'll have the resources, uh, should you go for both events, one of them, which one to choose if you want to do only one? And the answer will differ based on your level of account and the amount of resources that you have stacked. So let's jump right into it. Today we have a summon rush with the 10x for some of the really good champions. On Tuesday today, we have basically like the highlight is two champions. So we have Falmund. Falmund here is the aura faction unity champion. I'm not sure what it's called. So Falmund is really good to have. Uh, he's not top tier, but what I would like rate higher than him is Feyna here. So Feyna works with Tranda teams and Hydra. She is a strong champion all over. Like the buffs she puts on the team here. If she's paired with high elves. So Feyna is really strong. She's the prize of today. If you're opening shards on Tuesday. But hold on. That's not everything. On Wednesday tomorrow. You will have a chance to get Teox. The only legendary in the game. I took this from Nabraids. I stole his statement there that's strong enough to compete with mythicals so teox is amazing he's very strong and by the way we have them on the giveaway account so uh, just get us to 2k and this account might be yours so teox is the highlight on wednesday Feyna, in my opinion is the highlight today and wednesday but should you open shards or not why would you open shards uh, today or tomorrow i'm recording because this one day early as you see here because the event didn't start so basically you want to open shards to get the Fey Hammer Titan event points. How many points? I guess I don't know at the time of this recording. Will it require 5 or 10 shards or whatever? We know that Freya, from past events, we're not sure. They might like increase the amount of shards needed. If, and it's a big if, if Freya's uh, deck of fate is based on shards and not soul stones or champ training or dungeon diver or whatever, it will require around 20 secrets. So, for example, here on my like alt account, I have 30 sacred saved. So I can open 10, keeping 20 for Freya event. And I might get a couple more by the time the event is announced because we're not sure whether it's going to be during the weekend or what. There is a good probability they will hit us with the event this weekend just because they are draining our resources. So you'll have to buy packs. So I can open 10 shards and still keep 20 for Freya. Is Freya better than the five star uh, Thor Soulstone? I don't think that these two events will be competing. So this is my, my first answer for you today. Freya's deck of fate will have Titan event points and it won't be competing with anything unless you only have 20 secrets here. Like let's say that you have only 15 or 20 secrets. So you have barely enough to do Freya. So you'll have to skip the summon rush that will start with the Titan event points. You can skip 250 points so if the points if the hammers or whatever titan event points that they add to the summon rush that's starting today on tuesday is less than 250 you can skip them but you'll have very small margin to skip anything else you'll have to do everything else otherwise you lose on your five, four star or five star thor soul which is definitely definitely worth it Thor would be one of the best and most useful champions all around the game, PvP and PvE. Uh, initially, I rate his soul higher than Freya, to be honest, be simply because Freya can be replaced by multiple other support champions. Yes, she's strong. Yes, she's good. If you can do both without like compromising uh, Thor's soul, definitely go for both. But if you're going to compromise one of these events, 
I say definitely just skip Freya and go for the five star soul for Thor. But bear in mind something else. We're talking about resources here. Thor Titan event will be over two weeks and probably it will be very draining. They will hit us with dungeon divers. They'll hit us with like events requiring energy, souls, shards. They will completely deplete your account. You won't have anything left for the next fusion. We have no idea whether it's going to be a crazy good one or a bad one. We don't have any information on this yet. Yes, souls, uh, Thor's soul is definitely worth it, but just bear this in mind. If you have only 20 sacreds and no other resources saved, then you might want to go for Freya only because you won't be able to tackle those, this titan event anyways you don't have enough resources stacked if you're in game and you're stacking gems and energy packs or you don't mind buying stuff or whatever then you can go for both but the priority if you have to choose is going to be thor soul in my opinion if you can do both yes fine if you only have the shards and you can do freya definitely go for her why go for freya and not wait for like a 2x uh, or something or boosted event or something simply because this is a guaranteed chance at a really good champion versus you opening them on random 2x and getting uh, dupes or bad champions so that's my take if you can only go for freya go for her she's, she's a very good champion to go for if you have to choose focus on thor what i will personally do i will open 10 shards i'll keep enough for freya and open shards today and tomorrow chasing Feyna and Teox on both my main and my alt and then I'll just tackle the titan event as hard as I can I don't mind draining resources for Thor soul I'm really looking forward to using him on all accounts wishing you all the best of luck in chasing the events that you choose to do if you cannot do it or if you choose not to just because you're stressed or whatever just relax the important thing is that you're having fun and you don't stress yourself thank you for tuning in today I'll see you next time bye